We now bring you Kwa ministrations from regions, states, and nations across the world. Your word, O oh Lord, is my
if you know that the heavens will open upon you miracles will come upon your life in jesus name when god's servant pastor dr w f kumui prays long-standing chains are broken there is freedom even now as we begin season three praise the lord before the crusade i've been a drug addict for 34 years i've been addicted to tobacco I couldn't just stop it on my own, but glory be to God Almighty, who made it possible for me to attend that crusade. Immediately I heard that message, I started crying. The, it was like a yoke was broken in the inside of me. Jesus had defeated you. That was how I became free. And throughout 2022, there was nothing like tobacco, even up till now. Praise the Lord! The glory of God will come upon your life. The wonders of God will come upon your life. And all those who are here, you are here with your heart, your mind, your soul, your body. Everything you desire, the Lord is pouring the blessing of God upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Supernatural freedom through Christ. The Global Crusade with Kumuyi, GCK, now holds in Port Hackett, River State, Nigeria. 22nd to 27th June, 2023. 1600 hours GMT daily. Sunday service at 0700 hours GMT. And that's not all. There will be ministers, church workers, and professionals conference with a theme. Fulfilling the ministry with heaven in view. Teenagers, campus students, and young adults will be inspired to arise and shine at Impact Academy. Ministry is God's servant convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumi, with global choir ministering from across the world, and special guest music ministration by Jonathan White from the United States of America. Broadcast to the world live via satellite, radio and television, and all our social media platforms. GCK Season 3. Your time has come. GCK, the gospel to every creature. I am debtor, both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So, as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek the gospel we have the gospel of Christ the gospel of grace the gospel that brings man from disgrace to glory is the powerful gospel that Christ has given unto us we're not preaching a lifeless gospel, a powerless gospel, a graceless gospel, an impotent gospel. We're preaching a gospel that is able to take man from where he is to where he ought to be. A gospel that is able to reverse all that the fall of Adam did in man and then to bring in all that Christ has provided on the cross of Calvary. We have been preaching the gospel, no doubt, but now we want to have a fresh commitment to the preaching of that gospel of God, a fresh commitment. And we do that in a practical way, going places we've never gone, touching lives we've never touched, and bringing the gospel anew, afresh, to the people who are waiting to hear the gospel. I am debtor, I am debtor, I owe the debt. Every man around me, I owe them something. Every woman around me, I owe her something. Everyone in my community, my country, my world, I owe them something. I am debtor. 
both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise, so as much as in me is. What does that mean? As much as I am breathing, as much as I am alive, as much as the open door is before me, as much as the opportunity is given to me, as much as in me is, I am ready. He says, there's no day, there's no week, there's no month. When he will say, I'm occupied in another thing, there's another project I have. He said, there's no other project, there's no other assignment. He says, any day, any week, any time, I am ready to preach the gospel to you also. It's not the gospel of man, but it's the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. If you are sure of what you are saying, you will speak boldly. If you are saying that this is the only answer and this is the only solution and you want to convince the people you are speaking to, you will speak boldly. If you have experienced it yourself, if the gospel of Christ has made a definite, indelible impact in your life, and you know for a certainty that when people come to Christ, there will be a total transformation by the power of that gospel. You will speak boldly. If you love the person you are talking to, you don't fear him anymore, but you love him, and you know that what you have is his only remedy for sin. What you have is his only possibility of getting out of darkness and coming into the light. You will speak boldly. If you're going to persuade people, you need to know where you're going, why you're speaking, why you're telling them, what you're telling them, and you don't want to just preach, just to preach. You want to persuade. You want to convince. You want to get them from where they are to where they ought to be. God will use you. God will use me. God will use everyone. And this gospel will reach everyone in our world in Jesus' name. Please rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer and say, Lord, thank you for your revelation and thank you for what you have done through the gospel in my own life and what you will do with the gospel in our ministries together. Consecrate yourself to the Lord and let him use you today, use you, this generation, to take the gospel to everyone. is free to live the you might have feel there is grace to be
Lord's will come this time. Um, as always, is to be a blessing to the state. That means to individuals and families and everyone. And from here to take the message of love, the message of life, of the supernatural power of God from here to the rest of the world. So that's why we're here at this time. And the theme and the topic we're dealing with is supernatural freedom. We need freedom from the things that bind us, the things that hold us back, and the things that have destroyed our lives and held us in bondage until this time. Will come not with uh, political freedom and human freedom, but supernatural. The one who made us, the God of heaven, he knows why he made us, what we're supposed to do, and we've been going the way of uh, derailment. We want to come back and have the freedom that will set us free to be what we ought to be and to do what we ought to do, to be a blessing to our world. Um, given the challenges in our society, do you have advice to the citizens and also to the authorities? Um, the challenges are there, and yet we know that our God is alive. As we know that our God is alive, we need to have hope in the Lord. Where there is hope, we know there's a future. And uh, my um, counsel to everyone is that when we look up to God, and we do not lose hope. We know that whatever challenges there are, God has the solution. And when we link up with God, we're going to have the solution we expect. And we even go beyond what we're expecting. And uh, for our leaders to, to uh, fulfill the purpose for why God has, uh, has appointed them to be leaders, to be a blessing to the nation, and to think not of themselves, but of what they can do and what they should do, what they must do to bless, uh, to allow freedom to reign in the country and in every life, in every section of society. Thank you. Almighty God, we are praying to you. We love you, we respect you, we honor you. And we know that you are great and mighty. You are the everlasting one. You created everyone. And you know the need of everyone. We're asking, Lord, that in your mighty power, you fulfill your, your uh, purpose for which everyone is brought here in this life, and you fulfill their desires too in Jesus' name. Amen. And we're asking, Lord, that all the good desires they have and all the aspirations they have in their ambition, you sort everything out, purge and purify everything, and give them the very in Jesus name. Touch every life. Turn every life around for the better. Bless everyone according to the best need of their lives. Thank you Lord for the answer. In Jesus mighty name I pray. Amen. He says the horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. That the Lord will grant our brethren safe journey to this place and to every other part of the world where this GCK will be holding this night. Open them out and pray. Pray that the Lord will hasten his people. The Lord will hasten our invitees and begin to bring them down to the crusade ground. Bring them down safely. There will be no obstruction on the way. They will come down here speedily. They will come down over there in that other crusade in that nation, in these other regions, that God will draw his people Jesus said, I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Let the Lord draw them. 
Let the Lord pull them. All the people you have invited, that God will draw them and bring them down to the crusade ground. That the Lord will draw them and quicken them and bring them down to the crusade ground. In Luke chapter 5, verse 17, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. We want to pray and ask that the power of the Lord the glory of the Lord should come down to this crusade ground. Should come down in every center of this GCK, all over the world. The power of the Lord was present to heal, to deliver, to save, to break yokes, to destroy the works of darkness. Begin to pray that the power of the Lord will come down that the power of the Lord will take over every crusade ground in every nation and in this alpha location. Begin to pray. The Bible says in Matthew 18 verse 20, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Lord has promised that wherever his people gather, his name, there you will find him. There you will find the mighty Savior. There you will find the mighty healer, the mighty deliverer, the yoke breaker. Begin to pray. Tell the Lord, do as you have said. That where two or three are gathered together in your name, that there you are in the midst of them. Tell the Lord to come and take over the meeting. Let his presence overwhelm every situation in this place and in every other location. We are two or three are gathered together in my name. They are mine in the midst of them. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Lord is coming to deliver, to liberate his people in every crusade ground, tonight, tonight, begin to pray that the power of the Lord will envelop this place and envelop right that crusade ground where you are there, that the power of God will take over, envelop every man, every woman, the glory of God. He has promised. Tell him, Lord, do as you have promised. As he said it, will he not do it? He will do it. He says he will stand behind his word to hasten his word, to quicken his word. In Acts chapter 10, in verse 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. We want to pray right now for our Father in the Lord that God will anoint him, especially tonight, special anointing in this GCK, that God will use him, use him like never before. Open your mouth, open your mouth, and pray for our Father and the Lord. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that the power of the Lord will envelop his servant tonight that when he comes here and mounts the puppy tonight that God will use him to do good to all the people that the devil 
has been oppressing. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for new anointing upon our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, that God will use him, that God will anoint him, that God will strengthen him and use him like never before. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that God will use him. God will use him. Jesus was anointed by the Father. That the Father in heaven will anoint our Father here, our Father in the Lord, in a special way. And use him in a special way in this crusade. Open your mouth and pray. Pray with all your hearts. God is going to use him to bring salvation. God is going to use him to bring restoration to those who are vacillating. If you are sick, pray that God will use him to speak to your need. God will use him to bring healing, to bring deliverance. God will use him to break every yoke. Begin to pray for the instrument that God wants to use tonight. For the instrument that God will be using all through this crusade, ask the Lord to lay his hands upon him in a special way tonight. Ask the Lord to use him in a special way tonight, and the Lord will do it. He said, ask, you will receive. Seek, you will find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. In Acts of Apostles, in Philippians, rather, chapter 4, in verse 19, the Bible says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We want to pray now that God will meet the need of every participant, every participant here in this Alpha location, there in that nation, including our online audience, that God will meet every one of them at the very point of their needs. The Bible says, my God shall supply all your need. Do you need salvation? Do you need sanctification? Do you need Holy Spirit power, baptism? Do you need healing? Do you need deliverance? Do you need open doors? Whatever be your need, pray now that God should do as he has said. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Tell the Lord, do as you have said. In John chapter 14, in verse 14, if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. This is an open check for you. What are you asking the Lord to do for you in this GCK? You must have a goal. You must have a target. There must be something you are telling God to do for you in this GCK. Tell the Lord, he said, if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Has he said, will he not do it? Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Make your request known unto him. Make your request known unto him. My brother, you will never go home without problem. My sister, you will never go home without problem. That challenge will never survive this GCK. The power of God is coming to destroy, to disorganize every power of Satan militating against you. Enough is enough for that devil. Enough is enough for that sickness. Enough is enough for that sin. Enough is enough for that backsliding. The end of those evil works of the devil around you has come. The end has come. We are going to pray the prayer of authority right now. 
We're going to take authority over Satan. We're going to take authority over forces of darkness. We're going to take authority over every wicked spirit. In Matthew chapter 18, in verse 18, Jesus said this, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Again I say unto you, If two of you shall agree on earth, as touching anything they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, they are mine in the midst of them. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Open your mouth and begin to bind every power of Satan, every demonic power behind that challenge, every demonic power behind that evil habit, that evil habit that has clinged unto you, that say he will not let you go, that it will never allow you to go. That sin that said you must keep on committing me, begin to bind and destroy the devils, the forces behind that sin. That sickness that is resisting every medical attention, begin to bind the devils, the forces of darkness that are behind that sickness. Begin to bind them and destroy them. Bind them and destroy them. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, and they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto the death. They overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Begin to pray now, warfare prayer against the devil, against the forces of Satan that are saying, you, you are going to suffer. The Bible said you have been given the key to overcome them. The name of Jesus is right there in your mouth. The blood of Jesus is right there in your mouth. Yes, testimony right there in your mouth. Tell the devil, you Satan, you sickness, you disease, you demon. My Jesus defeated you on the cross of Calvary about 2,000 years ago. They overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Yes, begin to bind them, begin to plead the blood of Jesus against them, begin to testify against them, tell the devil that you know you're right, that Jesus defeated that devil, Jesus overcame that sickness, that disease. Yes, Jesus overcame them on the cross of Calvary about 2,000 years ago. The dirty team must let you go. That power of Satan is defeated already. The enemy you see around you today, tomorrow you will see them no more. You will see them no more. You will see them no more. Any evil spirit that is rising up against your progress, against your freedom, against your deliverance, against your salvation, any power fighting you, look at the Bible. Isaiah chapter 54, in verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Every weapon of Satan against you shall not prosper. Every tongue that is mentioning your name in the spirit realm, the tongue of witches and wizards, the tongue of demons, begin to condemn them now. The Bible says, you shall condemn. Once more, those who have testimonies from the past GCK should come to my left hand side here, the white tent, by my left hand side here, near the stage. Please come 
come with your testimonies. Our pastors, that is the region of Asias and the group coordinators, please come down and interview them immediately so that they'll be given opportunity to glorify the Lord for what the Lord has done for them. Begin to pray. No weapon, no weapon that is formed against you that shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Brethren, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. It is your heritage to be liberated. It is your heritage to be healed. It is your heritage to be delivered. It is your heritage. God will supply all your needs. It is your heritage. And anything that belongs to you, the enemy is holding. That the enemy must let that thing go. Nobody will withhold what belongs to you. What belongs to you. What belongs to you. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Your miracles must come. Your blessings must come. Your miracles must come. Brethren, we are going to pray that God should give us clement weather. Clement weather. All through the crusade. That the rain will not disturb. Sun will not disturb. The weather will be beautiful. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord should give us clement weather. All through this crusade. There will be no distraction of any kind. Clement weather. Begin to pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, we just want to thank you for your mercies. We thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness. We thank you, Lord, for the promises that if we ask, that we shall receive. We bless you and thank you because we know we have received. Lord, we are asking that even those things we have not mentioned to you, Lord, do for us in Jesus' name. Do more than we have asked from you, Lord. Here in this Alpha location, dear in every other nation, dear with our online audience, bless everyone, meet everyone at the very point of their knees. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet as we worship God together. Let's be on our feet as we worship God together. Wherever you are, we are here to worship God. Amen. Just open your mouth and begin to bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. Just worship him. Worship him. Jesus. You came to see him tonight. Worship the king. Worship the King.
Jesus the Son and give the glory. Lift up your hands and worship Him. Great is He. He deserves your worship. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, let the people we worship you. Worshiping. Just worship him. Lord, we see the beauty of creation. We see the works of your heart. We see your mighty works. We see the miracles. We've heard about you. Somebody worshiping. Somebody worshiping. Somebody worshiping. Just worship him. Oh Lord my God. When I eat all some wonder Every time the elders, the 24 elders, they bow down to him. They, they lay down their crown and they worship him. They lay down their crown and they worship him. The angels bow before him. And we are here tonight to bow before him. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. And oh, glorious God. Oh, glorious God. We pray. We pray. Somebody lay a 
crown. We we lay we lay a crown. We lay a crown. With your whole voice, one more time. Someone should lay his crown. King of kings, wave unto him, wave unto your maker, the owner of true freedom. We worship True it. freedom is yours. True freedom is yours. Are you receiving it this moment? True freedom. True freedom. True freedom. True freedom. Oh, it's we yours. Worship. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we have a prayer for you tonight. I want to hear your hands. Come on. We have a prayer for you tonight. That God will give you full freedom. Starting from today, God's supernatural freedom will visit you. Your family, your career, your future, you will never remain the same again. In Psalm 71, I read just two verses. In verse 7 and 8. I am as a wonder unto many, 
But thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the days. Starting from today, you will be a wonder to everyone. You came here with sickness, you get home, you are a wonder to everybody. Whatsoever your problem is, you will be a wonder to everyone. Because God's power is going to remove it. You can see the covenant of GCK seated already. <laughs> seated already. Seated already. Seated already. Loaded with power, anointing to release. You are welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for such a time like this. The rain tried to disturb, you stopped it. Lord, all our brethren, you are bringing them here now. By your grace, this place will be filled up. Your glory will shine upon everyone. Lord, you brought that rain to show us that as you are pouring natural rain, supernatural rain is starting. It has started already. In Jesus' name, we pray. We remain standing as we sing together from our congressional song. We are taking just obey. Whatsoever the man of God says from the pulpit, what are you to do? Just obey. Just as God who reigns on high, spake to men in days gone by, so the Lord is calling men today. And my brother, this is true. Whatsoever he says to you, there is but one thing to do, just obey. Just obey, just obey. Is the way, God's way. When his message comes to you, there is but one thing to do. Just obey, just obey. Savior speaks to you 
to the Lord in prayer. And before we pray, we are reading from Isaiah chapter 35, verse 4. Say to them that of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. And the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall lame man leap as an ass, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out, and streams in the desert. As we approach the throne of grace tonight, we're asking the Lord that he will perform what he has promised here. We're going to pray for salvation. It's what we're expecting. As the Lord met Hagar in the wilderness, and he asked her, what ill it be? Tonight, what do you want? What do you want God to do for you? You want God to save? You want God to treat the bad habits in your life? You know it has destroyed your home. It has destroyed your business. It has destroyed your relationship with men. And you are saying, Lord, when shall it be? Oh, it's tonight. It's tonight, and you must not allow him to go until he has done that work of grace in your heart. And you know Jacob said, he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. We are holding on to the Lord tonight. We are not going to allow him to go until he has blessed us, until he has brought joy and peace into our soul into our family, into our community. You know, a sinner destroys much good. We want to get out of sin tonight. And we are saying, Lord, we will not let you go. You must bless me before I allow you to go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we are going to pray that the Lord himself, when he has saved us from the external sins, he has brought us into the kingdom, he will now treat the internal sin, the root of sin, the Adamic nature in us. You know, we have different preferences in life. We prefer ourselves 
our self. That said, we must treat it tonight. The Lord is exchanging himself for our self. Let's pray the Lord will destroy the server in us. He will give us himself. Let's pray that the Lord will put his perfect love in our heart, where we love the Lord with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our spirit. He will put his compassion within us and will become like him. We want to be like Christ in our home, like Christ in the church, like Christ in the community, like Christ. Let us pray the Lord will do it. And though that's why he said, I've now come, I now descend, I've now come as the captain of the host of the Lord, as we find it in Joshua. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him, and he said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as captain of the Lord of hosts, am I now come? He is now come to give us the nature of heaven as we call upon him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we're going to pray. Because when he comes, he saves, he delivers, he heals. We are going to pray for healing. That the Lord will heal. It's a form of salvation. Salvation from the oppression of Satan. We are going to pray that the Lord will save the people from the oppression of Satan. From the instrument of Satan. He will deliver from oppression. He will heal long-standing problems. We become sore. We are praying to God. You remember, we will not allow him to go until he has blessed us tonight. Tonight is different. During this GCK, we know that this night is a different night. As we are praying to God, we are saying, Lord, how can I go as I came? I will not allow you to go until you have blessed me. In Jesus' name we pray. When the Lord has saved, He has saved from external sin, He has saved from internal sin, He now prepares us for His coming. We are praying that God will prepare us for His coming. He will prepare us body, soul, and spirit. And none of us will go into any kind of, of sin. He will give us victory over every circumstances of life. That till he comes, we will be found rapturable. We are praying. And remember the voice of Jacob. I will not allow him to go today. I want that preparation. The Lord is hearing us already. As he told Agar, he said, Fear not. The Lord has answered the cry of that lad. As a lad, he has heard you. As an adult, he has heard you. As a preacher, he has heard you. No matter your category, the Lord has answered us because we call on his name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Another is sounding amen. And we are going to pray that this impact of this program of GCK will touch all the nations of the earth. The nations that have never called upon the Lord. And we are praying that the Lord will touch those nations. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall soon stretch 
out our hands unto God. In all those nations where the Lord was not glorified before, the power that comes out from the word coming out from the servants of God will touch hearts. In those nations, we will see princes later on, people that will preach the gospel, will come out from those places, people that will transform the world and change it upside right. We come out from those nations. Let's pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. And we are going to pray for the general superintendent. We convene of the GCK that the Lord will give a double anointing, a double unction, a double power, that when the anointing comes upon him, the revelation of the Lord comes upon him. Everybody will know this is a different situation entirely. Because we need the touch of God to heal, to save, to deliver. And it's as we pray for the anointing of the Lord that breaks the yoke. As we pray for that anointing in a double measure, Upon the general superintendent, we have said we will smile at the end. We will know that this one depasses all that has been witnessed up to this moment. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are praying for the uh, for the power, for the strength that, as is strengthening in the inner man, is external man will also be strengthened. He will be able to carry through, throughout the program without any kind of, of uh, feebleness. Strength of the Lord will take over and God will renew his strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for all the people that are ministering alongside with him. The ushers, the preachers, those that are making announcements, we are going to pray that the Lord and then the member of the choir, the Lord will envelope them with his power, strength, and with his presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this moment where we have come unto you committing this program into your hand. Lord, as for us, we can do nothing, but our sufficiency is of the Lord. Let the presence, your presence, in a double manner, be sufficient for the general superintendent, the convener of the program tonight. Your unction, your anointing, your revelation, more than what we have witnessed before upon him, that the whole assembly in all nations of the world will be carried forth even unto the altar of grace. And there will be joy, joy in this Alpha location as well as in other locations all over the world. We thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome to this great event, Supernatural Freedom Through Christ. Amen. This program is going to run through this weekend up till Tuesday next week. Every evening, Nigerian time, on this supernatural miracle ground and every other place globally, in Africa, Europe, Asia, America, you know, every other continent, it is every evening till Tuesday 27th of June 2023. 
And on Sunday, we are going to have a global worship. The global worship service will also hold here. And it will be taking place here by 8 a.m. Nigerian time. But pre-service prayer, if you want to get the best from God, will begin by 7.30 p.m. Nigerian time. Not only that, because the program is packed, three in one, we have the ministers, church workers, professionals, businessmen and women conference that is going to hold three days beginning tomorrow morning by 7.30 a.m. The venue is Dr. Obiwale International Conference Center along GUAK Road by Air Force Eliozu Road, along Air Force Eliozu Road. 7.30 a.m., you make a date with God to listen to a man that God has used. 7 a.m. in the morning is the time for the minister's conference. And... The title is Fulfilling the Ministry with Heaven in View. Fulfilling our ministry with heaven in view. You will have an opportunity to listen to a man who has succeeded. If you want to succeed, you stand on the shoulders of those who have made it. And here is one of them, the apostle of our time. He has succeeded in ministry, in profession. If you want to clap, clap. Amen. And by the grace of God is in our midst. So this program Amen. This program will hold tomorrow Friday. It will hold also on Monday 26th and hold on Tuesday 27th 7 a.m. Nigerian time. Not only that, the youths are not left out. Amen. You see a preacher that he has a fulfilling ministry. A ministry that, is, that knows no boundaries. He reaches the youths, the adults, name it. So there's going to be a youth impact academy. Amen. And all teenagers in secondary school and apprentices 